We used to fast the same days as the Jews. Ayat came down. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu kutiba alaykum siyam Those of you who have iman, fasting has been made mandatory upon you. Okay? Kama kutiba ala alladheena min qablikum. Just like it was made mandatory upon the people who came much before you. Who are those people? Who had fasting as a fard on them? The Jews. Banu Israel, the Israelites. The Sharia of Musa alayhi salam. So even Allah is saying part of your identity is the same as the identity of the Jews. But in the same surah, already he separated us from them by separating our Kaaba. He separated them. But now he's saying we have something in common with them, which is what? Fasting. Fasting is the same between us and them. Then he says, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you can have taqwa. You people can have taqwa. Now it's interesting that in the first half of Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah talked about who again? If you were paying attention, who does Allah talk about? The Jews. And Allah complains the entire time, why don't you have taqwa? The entire time the problem is they have no taqwa. And now Allah says, you are given the same exercise as them. Which is what? Fasting. And what's the point of all of it? So you can have taqwa. So let's, the first conversation I want to have with you was that fasting is something we have in common with the previous nation. But why do we fast? Why do we fast? Is also the same. Why they fasted was to get taqwa, why we fast is also to get taqwa. I want to talk to you practically, what does that mean? Taqwa is, you know, the, the, people translate that as the fear of Allah. Taqwa comes from the word wiqaya. Wiqaya actually means protection. Taqwa is similar to ittiqa, to seek protection, to try to protect yourself. That's why on judgment day, on judgment day, everybody will try to protect themselves. So Allah says, وَكَيْفَ تَتَّقُونَ إِن كَفَرْتُمْ يَوْمًا يَجْعَلُ الْوِلْدَانَ شِيبًا How will you protect yourself on the day if you disbelieved? The day on which a baby's hair is going to turn gray. So he uses the word تَتَّقُونَ to describe protecting yourself. That's what the real meaning of taqwa is, to protect yourself. Allah says, Allah gave you fasting so you can protect yourself. And what does that mean? Let's, let's try to understand what that means. Human beings, us, we have certain training. You have to go through training if you want to get good at something. Especially physical training. Like if somebody is, they want to become a soldier, or they want to become a police officer, then they have to go through certain kinds of training. And their body learns to adapt. Like at, at the beginning it's hard, and then it gets easier and easier and easier for them. Right? And this idea of training, putting yourself in difficulty, it helps you in not... Well, by the way, when you're in training, things are easy. When you're in the training program, things are easy. Like for example, when they train firemen, they set up a fire to put it out, but they control the fire. It's not like a real fire in a building. It's controlled, so it's easier. They make you jump down a building, but it's easier. It's not like the real thing. They go easy on you, and then they, when you get good enough, then they put you in the real life situation. You understand that, right? Now the same thing happens with fasting. Fasting, you're constantly feeling something, aren't you? Especially in Qatar. Especially in the Khalij. You're constantly feeling thirst. You're constantly feeling hunger. There is not a minute that goes by that you're not feeling it. Your, your throat is fighting with you. Your lungs are fighting with you. Your, your throat is yelling at you and saying, give me water, give me water, give me water. Whether you like it or not, your throat is begging you. And you tell your throat, shut up throat, it's not maghrib yet. Your stomach starts talking to you, sometimes very loudly. Hey man, come on, what's going on up there? Where's the supply, <laughs> you know? And you're like, it's fajr dude, you're, are you starting already? You know, you have a conversation with yourself. But you know what, there's a war going on inside you when you're fasting. There's a war, physical war going on inside you. Your throat is against you, your stomach is against you. Your body is getting weaker and begging you, please disobey Allah, please disobey Allah. And you stay the entire day fasting, fighting your body and you say, no, my heart is submitted to Allah and therefore I don't care if my entire body wants something, I will not give it to it. You train your heart to control your body. That's what you do when you fast. That's what I do when I fast. Why is that important? Because when the fasting is over, you have to continue to train your... Now your heart is ready to control your body. 
So you're not just going to eat what you want. You're not just going to go where you want. You're not just going to look at what you want. Because all of those things your body wants. But who has gotten stronger and when you fast? The body got weaker and who got stronger? The heart got stronger. And where does taqwa rest? In ذَلِكَ مِنْ تَقْوَى الْقُلُوبِ the, the heart is the place of taqwa. When you give your body the, the weakness, and you give your heart the strength, you train yourself to stop yourself from other things. So my, my dear young brother, the young guys that are here, if you're fasting, staying at home and watching movies, you're not fasting. You're not fasting. Because you're still, your heart is still giving in to your, the, the wrong temptations. The entire exercise of fasting is you constantly remember, yeah, just like I'm fighting my stomach, just like I'm fighting my throat, I gotta fight my eyes. I gotta fight my, I gotta fight my mouth. I gotta fight my tongue. I gotta fight my, my desires. I gotta fight my hormones. I have a fight with everything now. The, the thing we see is the drinking and the, 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 you know, the, the eating. But everything else, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ If we don't remember this, then we become just like Banu Israel. They fasted, but they didn't have what? They didn't have taqwa. Man, they didn't have taqwa, but they fasted. If you forget why you're given the fast, then you're just doing what Bani Israel did. Allah said to you, Kutiba alaykum as siyam, alaykum muqaddam. This is called maf'ul jar majrur muqaddam. Especially on you, I'm, it's your turn now. I am giving you what I gave to them. They did not benefit from fasting. They didn't get taqwa. Hopefully you will get taqwa. That's what Allah is saying. That's what Allah is saying when He gave us fasting. What is the first thing people think of when they think of fasting? They think of iftar. <laughs> they think of iftar. Fasting is your training for real life. And by the way, I told you when training goes on, when training goes on, then it's easier. Controlled fire. Controlled situations. What does Allah do? Does Allah make fasting in Ramadan easier? Does He cage up shaitan? Does He put the shaitan away? He does, doesn't He? He's going easy on you. So your heart can get a chance to train and get better without being in the battlefield. The second Ramadan is over, Eid Mubarak, guess what? Shaitan is out. And the war begins. And all of that training will now come in handy. But if you didn't train yourself properly, eh. Look, uh, I mean, just to help the younger guys here, this is for the younger guys especially. If a guy wants to join the army, he has to go through physical training. So they make the guy jump over a wall or climb a wall and go on the other side. So two guys join the military. One of them jumps over the wall, the other one goes around the wall. They both got to the other side. You have to do it ten times. One guy jumps over it ten times, the other guy walks over it ten times. Right? Now when they're on the battlefield and they have to go over a wall, Who's gonna go and who's gonna fail? You understand? They both can say, I did it, I made it to the finish line. But that's what you wanted, to reach the finish line, I did it. You will fast and your brother will fast, but your fasting will not be the same. It won't be the same. There's the guy who applied himself and actually trained himself, and the guy who didn't train himself, they're not gonna get the same results. Now let's move on. 